all right guys back with another vibes today we bring you real cool vibes from rc4wd he's a 10 skill desert runner and we can't wait to pop it out of the box and show you what time it is pop a battery in it and we're gonna take it on the trail and show you how we do it so let's get down in it got some really cool stickers here from rc4wd a box inside a box so we're gonna pop this out show you the vibes i'm gonna flip this over there we go guys nice turn this around so you can see the vibes okay so we got you ready to run let's pop this open now they really strapped on this box so we're gonna have to cut this open here we got some cool styrofoam cut out nicely i like that design right here that is cool there we go when we open up the box guys and pull out the styrofoam it look really beautiful nice 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 i like the radio in orange favorite color that pop the radio out and this is a four channel radio battery comes on in each other you take six batteries so we're gonna pop six battery in there and get this moving for you in a minute very cool digital very very cool so the radio nice and light the trigger is very slick got a lot of different functions here that we gotta get used to we got an aerial what goes up and the radio is 2.4 gigahertz it's a pretty good radio but it's nice and light it's not too heavy in your hand a little bit big but this is what it is all right so let's see what else we got in this box for you guys two piece of wiper so that's your wiper blades right here really cool what else we got we got some decals right here to go on the hood kind of carbon fiber looking and this piece right here is your battery compartment to go at the back right here so this goes on the tray at the back all right let's move on now as you look inside the box right here guys you can see that the, tr the tray is open up it's got this two little latch right here just gotta squeeze that like so just gonna pull this up and right there we love the, the tray so really nice cool truck in here we got sunroof so let me take the truck out of the box and get busy with it guys there you go there's a shot underneath the truck oh, beautiful 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 let's give them a shot of the number right here we got ph0071 so cool truck this here looks like aluminum but it's plastic so there's a piece of shield here to protect i guess your steering arms and stuff feeling the tires is really nice and gushy nice sticky tires very small tires gearbox looking cool it looks aluminum but to me i'll be honest it feels like plastic now right here where the motor is connecting is aluminum but right here the gearbox looks like plastic and the dry shaft is metal front and back dry shaft is metal and we have independent suspension up front that is cool both sides as you can see guys we got some cool steering arm you can adjust it just like a real truck i like that and we got the reservoir shocks nice blue and silver what else we got let's move down here to the silver that's the silver what will lock your differential and it look like this differential will be locked as you hit the servo the four wheel will go into four wheel drive at once so that there's no independent locking differential here all will be locked at the same time really cool back here noticing we got a spare tire what could be used on any end of the truck and back here we got lift springs the lift springs look like got a tin piece of metal and plastic at the bottom and we got some reservoir shocks again really cool i like that chassis is you know metal back here so that is cool we got a hinge already set up for your trailer that is cool we got a hard plastic body that is nice and this is a black a black kind of look kind of black gray in a sense now let's get down to the goody stuff this is where your battery would be coming right here you got your dins plug back there so your battery will be coming right here we'll soon pop a battery there for you we got back windscreen clear we got seats inside i noticed the seats they don't finish molded but that's the way it is let's get into the good stuff there's a little latch right here you move it forward and you can open up the door 
Then we got some seats inside there. That is really cool. We got steering wheel. We got real good function in there, guys. So let me just mention the mirrors on the door. That is cool. On top here, the sunroof, we got places to put lights for cut out for lights kind of thing. And let's close this side of the door. Whoa, it slams really shut. I like that. Let's move on the other side of the vehicle and show you the driver side. There we go. Get a good shot in there. Check out the steering wheel, the gear lever. It's really cool, you even got cup holders. No, that is nice. Real cool detail that RC4 WD put into this truck. Got nice bucket seats. So I like that. Yeah. So the detail is really nice on the truck. Really, really cool. You know, even on the doors, I give you a shot on doors right here. You know, they give you a nice cutout. There you can see really cool details on the truck, you know. So it's beautiful. Now, if you're wondering if the back can be open, it's cannot be open at the back here. It's only the two front doors. So this is about it. The mirrors. This is what we got going on here, guys. So yeah, the truck is really cool. Got a really good weight to it. Nice and hefty. Now we got Hero mark in front of the truck. We got two tow hooks up here. We got space here for lights on the both sides. So in time, we're gonna light up this truck. But this is what it is right off the box. Got some nice little grill up here. They're not functionable. It's just, you know, kind of cut out that they give little grooves, but that's it. Pretty truck, I like it. Straight off the box, it looks serious. I like it. And tell me what you guys think about this truck, guys. Let me show you the back side of the truck. Let me flip this around here, show you. I just noticed that we got some tail pipes. See right here, we got two tail pipes. One here, one there. Let's turn the truck over and take a look underneath again and see how it's set up. Now the tail pipes don't go all the way, just small piece right here on the both sides. But that's all right. It's nice and cool, you know. They give us some good details. I like that. What can I tell you? The differential is all in one. There's no independent suspension. But the spring, we got leaf spring. It's got its own shocks. It's got a nice bounce towards it. So we got some travel here that we could work with. And everything seems to be working. We got metal clamps holding on this leaf springs. That is cool. So pretty nice details back here, guys. I cannot complain. The truck look nice. And this is a ready to run. All right, guys, so I want to mention on the wheel right here, we got six nuts to remove to get that wheel out. There is no one nut in the middle. There is six. So it's a hell of a job to remove these wheels, you know? So I just thought I'd mention that so you guys know. And the tie is from JD model. And as I say, it's nice and grippy. Nice and grippy. It feels really good. So we're going to put it to the test on the trail and show you how it goes. I noticed back here, we got I think we got, you know, I'm not sure if we got space for a light back here for brake light, but um, that's a really cool detail right there. And I like the sunroof and all the little lights cut out right here. And this is where your battery plate will be going to finish up the tray. So just like that, this is really cool. I like that they have the wheel wells. The tray inside is nice. Let me open up the back again and show you. There's two little clips in here. Come close cameraman, show them what time it is here. Right there, pop that so. and. The back of the trays of the truck is opened now to put it back in you got to do the same thing you got to close it in you see that pins closing in like so and just like that you got a little hole that this piece of metal go inside right here and that is cool so we got the back tail light let me just check this out for a minute we got two holes to put led bulbs in here so we're going to light this up you don't know garage valves like to light up his trucks and uh but right now, we're just gonna take this, put it on the trail, and show you how it performs. So we're gonna put some battery in the controller. All right, so we turn the controller on, and this knob right here, this is for the locking differential. When you turn this, all four wheels will lock at once. There is no front locking differential or back locking differential. All right, this right here is your cruise control knob right here. This little thing right here, when you push it forward, you can go forward, and it will cruise for you make a beeping sound like so and that would cruise 
of how fast you want to cruise and you can go backwards and forward and here what that does that gives you the amount of throw that you want to lock the diff so if you want the diff to lock very quick or halfway that will give you same kind of beep and this one right here what that does that center you your steering servo to keep it level so we get a few little control and this little button right here is for you when you have your lights that's your light button you put the light on and off and we got where you can put your USB right here to set the different control levels that you want on your computer we have exit and we have decrease and increase and here we have enter so different functions here guys when you press them they'll give you different channels and we got a cool little aerial here nice orange wheel so now we went ahead and put some action figure inside of the vehicle really cool action figure guys we just want to show you so let's go inside here and take a look and show you what's going on let's open up this door and cameraman will go in there and show you some really cool action figures that we put in there so we thought we put some you know action figure in there to make the vehicle look really cool on the trail so let's show you the driver guys cool action figures inside there wiper we have to stick it on with a little bit of glue so this is what we do and the next mod that we did back here let's take it back at the battery box here we end up changing the dins plug to Traxxas so we can get our Traxxas batteries to work so as we're here let's pop the battery inside and take this vehicle on the trail and give you a run show you how it does there we go we got some juice kind of tight inside it guys and it's a short battery what can be fitted in here if you have the long batteries it wouldn't be able to fit so we got to get that really slick in there there we go tuck the wires inside and get the battery cover and just slide it down in here like so that's it now we can close up the truck and we got some vibes ready to run let's put them down on the ground see how we do